Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Monkey Magic for Sony PlayStation 1. My voice is a lot better since the last episode. And in the last episode, we explored the Flower Fruit Fortress. There were three teleporters in all, and turns out I had to go through one of them just to go through one third of the fortress. Turns out we have to go through the other two teleporters as well. I say, as I take a drink of tea and realize that I should have seen that coming. Oh, thank you so much, Congo. Hurry and find the others. And we will do that, starting with the middle one. Time to take the middle teleporter, which is going to be a little interesting. Of course, of course. If you know what to do with one of the teleporters, you know what to do with the other ones. And we don't need any magic. So anyway... We need to... Not do that, obviously. That was awful. And we need to make sure that we destroy all of the soldiers before we get crushed. We need to shrink this. And then shrink ourselves so we can go over here and push the crate. I may have to wait for this thing to get a little bigger though before I do anything with it. There we go. Want to make sure I get everything over here. Hit this. And as much as I would like to do that, well, actually, if you take this path, I'll show you what happens if you take this path. I gave the key to Wowser, but I can't find him. Help me, Congo. Well, it looks like we're going to have to take the other path in order to get to the key that we need. So... Thankfully, we don't need any more magic. And we can hit this switch. I'm going to go ahead and shrink myself. Make it a little easier to get through here. Use this magic on myself so that way I can get in a hurry. And speed this up a little bit. Basically, unshrink myself so I can get that done faster. And then from here... We could drop down there, but we can't really do anything there yet. And from here, you want to fight off the soldiers. Hopefully without messing things up horribly. Thankfully, you can switch planes of both foreground and background when you are using the power rod, which is a good thing, by the way. And after fighting off all these soldiers, you can get two extra lives and two turnips, which we are definitely going to need. Let's go ahead and refill on magic. And get right here. Now, we need to shrink ourselves. Or not. That was a terrible idea. Okay. Apparently that is going way too fast for us to do anything with. We need to take short hops off these, or rather over these bombs. And from here we need to shrink down, use the power rod to take out that guy. I'm going to wait right here just to be safe. And then I'm going to jump on this platform. And if this guy could stop hitting me, that would be great. I do want to go over there, though. Hopefully without blowing myself up. Is there 
No, there isn't. Ugh. I think it's better if I waited again. I think it's a lot better if I waited again. Okay. We're gonna get on this again. There we go. Now we can refill our magic. And then I'm gonna wait down there again just to ensure I don't blow myself up a second time. Then we'll take care of that soldier and then we can get on with the rest of the level. Perfect. I'm gonna get a drink of tea while I come out of the stun animation. Now, time to take this elevator. We wanna be careful. Make our way up. Get this. Now, by looking around, you may think, oh, I need to shrink this box. No, 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 no. There's a gap right here. You shrink yourself first. Then you shrink this. Then you freeze this cage. Then you press the lever. And by the time you're done, that box will be big again. And once this cage gets unfrozen, we'll have to fight off two of these celestial soldiers. And that's how you do that and get that extra life. That extra life is really easy to mess up. If you don't shrink yourself before you go down there, you will miss out on it. If you, if you don't shrink yourself before you shrink the box, that is. Like, if you sh shrink the box before you get the one up, you'll miss out on it. That's what I'm meaning to say. And now, we open this. Oh, thanks, Tongo. You're the greatest. <laughs> but of course, we can't jump up here to get the key from Wowser. So here's what we do. We hit this lever, we open this up, and then we can just do that. We can just roll our way to the key. And now that platform will be moving. Okay, making sure that we have all the magic that we can get. And now we need to make our way back. All right. Okay. We need to shrink ourselves and then hurry over to here. I made that look a lot easier than it actually was. Then you hit this lever and you can go back. Now, we need to go back to the keyhole that I showed off earlier. Thankfully, there is a... There is a checkpoint, almost a continue point right there, that we can use to get back over here in case we easily mess up, or either blow by blowing ourselves up or worse. And now we can use these platforms to get over here. Make sure not to prematurely jump near the top because you can hit yourself on the spikes overhead and kill yourself. Don't do that. And we have everything in this section. And we have 70 lives too. Because I have taken great care to not kill myself, kill myself a whole bunch of times. One hundred percent. Excellent. Let's go ahead and save our game here. And this ended up being shorter than the last part. I decided to give myself more time in case I died a whole bunch of times. I do have a lot of lives in this game at this point. So, we now have... Oh, you're getting so close, Congo. I just know you'll find the rest of our friends soon. And we will when we go through the last of these teleporters. But as I was saying, I gave myself more time in case I lost a whole bunch of lives, which hopefully shouldn't happen, but, well, you never know. And because of this, this is going to be yet another 10-minute video. So, join me next time when we go through the last of the three teleporters 
before taking on what's ahead, which may be another big battle with the Celestial Forces. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!